Einstein was not directly involved in the Manhattan Project, the secret U.S. program that built the first nuclear weapons. He was a pacifist who opposed war and violence. However, he was aware of the potential of nuclear fission, the process of splitting atoms to release enormous amounts of energy. He also knew that Nazi Germany was trying to develop its own atomic bomb, which could pose a grave threat to the world. In 1939, Einstein received a letter from his friend and fellow physicist Leo Schiller, who urged him to warn President Franklin D. Roosevelt about the danger of a German atomic bomb. Schillard had learned that Germany had stopped exporting uranium, a key ingredient for nuclear fission, and that it had confiscated all uranium stocks in occupied Czechoslovakia. He feared that Germany was stockpiling uranium for its own nuclear program. Einstein agreed to write a letter to Roosevelt with Schillard's help. In the letter dated August 2, 1939, Einstein explained the scientific principles of nuclear fission and its possible applications for military purposes. He warned that a bomb made with uranium could produce a new and extremely powerful source of energy and a very powerful explosive. He also suggested that the U.S. should start its own research on uranium and secure its supply from other countries. The letter reached Roosevelt in October 1939, shortly after the outbreak of World War II. Roosevelt was impressed by Einstein's reputation and took his warning seriously. He appointed a committee to investigate the feasibility of building an atomic bomb. The committee reported that it was indeed possible, but it would require a lot of time, money, and resources. Roosevelt decided to proceed with the project, which became known as the Manhattan Project. Einstein sent two more letters to Roosevelt on March 7, 1940, and April 25, 1940, calling for action on nuclear research. Schillard drafted a fourth letter for Einstein's signature that urged the president to meet with Schillard to discuss policy on nuclear energy. However, this letter never reached Roosevelt, who died on April 12, 1945. On August 6, 1945, the U.S. dropped an atomic bomb on the city of Hiroshima, Japan, killing about 80,000 people instantly and injuring many more. Three days later, another bomb was dropped on Nagasaki, killing about 40,000 people. Japan surrendered on August 15, ending World War II. Einstein was shocked and saddened by the use of his discovery for such destructive purposes. He later said, Woe is me. He regretted writing the letter to Roosevelt and wished he had never done so. He became an outspoken advocate for peace and disarmament and joined several movements to prevent further nuclear war. He also warned about the dangers of nuclear weapons and their impact on humanity and the environment.